Today, our special guest is one of the newest faces to join the Law and Order series. Oh, the drama! This is <laughs> Laura Taylor, also known for other beloved roles on Bones and Party of Five. Uh, I think a lot of us are picking up our jaws from the table after that scene. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Well, before we jump into Law kind of crazy. Order, we, I know. Uh, so hopefully you can fill us in. But before we jump into Law and Order, let's rewind the clock. You worked with Tyler Perry on his very first movie, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. And I heard you went all out during I the did. audition. Just how far did you go to get that role? Oh, man. Well, literally just the week before, it was kind of perfect timing, like a little motivation. My agent uh, was talking to me because I think I I had just read for, um, I, I think it was the role of a lawyer. You know, it's like Dr. Laura, lawyer cop has kind of been my career. <laughs> and uh, my agent said, oh, you'll never play a hooker or a crackhead. <laughs> and so, of course, you know cut to uh, Tyler's Tyler's script landing in my lap and I was like well let's see uh, let me see if I can prove you wrong so I didn't bathe for a, a week and change and uh, walked in and scared the hell out of Tyler um, wow. definitely uh, was yo there she is there, there she you is are. <laughs> the funk is real the <laughs> funk is real that's, that's commitment. <laughs> Tamara, I love, behind, yeah. I love behind the scenes stuff, how you walked us through what you did for that character. What was your honest reaction when you got Law & Order? Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I, I was kind of stunned um, and so excited. Uh, I, it, it was really fast. Everything happened extremely fast. So I, uh, I did a Zoom sort of, um, I want to say audition slash sort of meeting with uh, with the executive producers and the showrunner and the casting director, and I'd never done anything like that before. So you know, and I'm a little bit tech challenged. So that mostly, I thankfully I was distracted by the fact that I actually had to figure out what a backdrop was supposed to look like <laughs> and how I just I didn't know any of it. So yeah, we had a great meeting and I heard I think that afternoon that I got the role and wow. then they were like, and you're leaving for New York wow. in five days. Wow. Oh, wow. I was like, OK, well, I've yeah. Yeah, roll with it. So it was fun. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Law and order. Man, <laughs> right? Yes. Well, Tamara, yeah. sis, I, I mean, I'm so excited to ask you this question because I want to get your take on this because you've been very outspoken about supporting Black Lives Matter. And last summer, a lot of shows involving police characters came under heat because people felt like they were glamorizing the job. So I'm curious how you feel about that reaction now that you're on, on Law and Order. Well, it's interesting. I'm so glad you asked this question. Um, we actually just had uh, a couple of the, there have been many interesting dialogues about this very thing on set because, of course, um, Ayanna Bell is played by Danielle Monet Truitt, and you know she has definitely um, had to had to speak up about uh, you know just just uh, I, I, I want to say lend perspective to some of the dialogue, mm -hmm. as have I. And, um, and I think, for the most part, this show, and it's a really tricky thing to do because it's, it's a show with, about cops, um, but I think Dick Wolf and Eileen Chaikin have really, really um, walked a tightrope because there's no glamorizing uh, cops right now, but we also don't want to demonize them because, as we know, not all cops are bad. Not all black people are guilty. <laughs> you know, so they're trying to, they're really, I think, um, they're taking it on. And I think they're trying to give it a fair, um, uh, I, I think they're trying to give it a, uh, a fair perspective, I guess. They're trying to see it from both sides. So I think it may offend some people who are Blue, Blue Lives Matter folks. I think they may lose some fans, and I think they may gain some others. Yeah, I think it, it gives perspective that maybe others have not considered. And at the end of the day, uh, if you're educating people, that's something that you can go to bed at night feeling pretty proud of. Uh, we also love the onset. Exactly. Yeah, and we also love your onset photos you've been sharing on social media. We even spotted a couple selfies <laughs> with Christopher Maloney. Is he anything like Detective Stabler? <laughs> there you are. There we are. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, there we are. I don't even know New York, so I have no clue where we are. People were trying to guess. I think we're in Queens. 
Um, he's he's amazing. He's actually, I would say, a lot like Stabler in that um, he's he's uh, in his body. No, I don't want to say tightly wound, but definitely <laughs> ready to re ready to be there. He's right. ready for whatever's coming at him. You know, definitely. But what I will say is he's a lot funnier and a lot kinder. I think in Stabler. All right. So, wow. Really fun to work with. Well, we're proud of you. Congratulations on the new role. You do it so well. Thank you, Tamara, for stopping Thank by D DBL. Don't miss the show, everybody. Uh, Law and Order, Organized Crime, a new episode airs tonight. Oh, they know. On NBC. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks, Tamara. <laughs> Thanks, guys.